What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be showcasing the poster child for the Indigo Disc DLC. We got ourselves a Terrapagos team for Regulation G. Now, Terrapagos, really dope Pokemon. It's a turtle, so we gotta love it. You guys know I love my turtles, but this Pokemon has access and does unique things that no other Pokemon can do, such as its signature ability, Terra Shift, and its signature move, Terra Star Storm. Now, Terra Star Storm is a base 120 move that is actually super effective to all Pokemon who are Terrastalized. So that's going to be really clutch whenever someone Terrastalizes. On top of that, it's already doing some big time damage, hitting both Pokemon for base 120. And I believe it gets stab boost. I'm not too sure. This is my first time using Terrapagos, so bear with me. Like I mentioned, we have its ability, Terra Shift. Terra Shift, a really cool ability that allows Terrapagos to take not very effective damage when it's at full HP. It's going to be really clutch, helping this Pokemon set up moves such as Combine. On top of that, Terrapagos has leftovers, then its other two moves instead of Calm Mind and Terra Star Storm are going to be Earth Power and Protect. Other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Mimikyu and Frigraf. Both these Pokemon are going to be our Trick Room Setters. Terrapagos is actually built kind of slow on this team, so Mimikyu and Frigraf going to be clutch when setting up Trick Room. Speaking of Trick Room, we got Amoongus, a Pokemon that absolutely thrives in Trick Room. You can spore for days whenever this Pokemon is in that Trick Room. Final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Incineroar and Araquanid. Incineroar, great on any team. Araquanid, top tier within the Trick Room. You cannot go wrong with that. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's go showcase Terrapagos in Regulation G. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a Groudon Sun team. They also have Venusaur to to power up in the sun, get that speed boost, and they also have Protosynthesis Flutter. Me. So pretty strong team here. We have to pop Trick Room. But Pokemon that they could end up leading here would be Venusaur and Groudon, which could be a little bit of a threat to me. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Um, who could I go in here to kind of counter that and get off Trick Room? I could go Rage Powder with Amoongus. That's not bad. I think that's going to be our best bet. And we're also going to go into a Trick Room setter such as Mimikyu. Or would I rather go in with like... Regret. I'd rather go in with Mimikyu, to be honest, because it does have Will-O-Wisp. I do like that. We can go Trapagos in the back end. And last but not least, we are going to go Araquanid. I know Sun's probably going to be out here, but Liquidation could still do a nice chunk of damage. Or I could just go into you. With Flare Butts. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go Incineroar. We're going to really rely on Terrapagos and Mimikyu to do a lot of our damage. That's going to be the play. That is going to be the play. We'll see how they want to play this one, and we'll see what they end up doing. But I think Groudon Venusaur is most likely their lead. And that's going to be a little tough for us. Groudon on Venusaur. But at least today we are seeing some uh, restricted Pokemon. Because in the past couple of videos in Casual Ladder, some people weren't using the restricted Pokemon. But now people are. But Incineroar and Groudon are going to come out here. A little annoying. Um, I'm definitely going to have Rage Powder. I'm definitely going to Rage Powder. I have to Rage Powder. I could actually just go for Spore. But the thing I don't want happening is a Flare Blitz and like a Blades just to take out my Mimikyu. I'd rather just get off this Trick Room and make sure that we do. So I'm going to go Rage Powder here. I am going to end up setting up the Trick Room. And then we can always Will-O-Wisp to Groudon next turn, which could be huge. But look how big Groudon looks. He looks so awesome. I love his design. I love his design. His size is so perfect. Like just staring down Mimikyu. It just screams, I'm a legendary Pokemon. That's what we really like to see for legendary Pokemon. He's going to end up faking out Amoongus. No big deal. Actually, Rage Powder is not going to come here. But still, that's totally fine. Because Rocky Helmet will deal damage. I still have my Disguise. And he's going to go for Precipice Blades. Really strong ground move. Signature move. We can't even see the animation because we were stuck behind Groudon's head for some reason. Which is kind of funny. But now we have Trick Room. And now, honestly, I mean, I'm going to burn Groudon. I'm going to put Incineroar to sleep. Actually, I might just swap Amoongus. Do I swap Amoongus? No, we're just going to Rage Powder here. I could put Incineroar to sleep, but I want to just kind of start getting off these. Uh, I really want to start getting out my Pokemon for a Trick Room. Right? So I'd rather just burn the Groudon, let Amoongus die out here. And then start going from there. So a nice big time burn onto this. Uh, big time burn on the Groudon this would be huge, right? Be massive. He's going to go for Flare Blitz, which is going to KO us. That's totally fine. I could have put him to sleep, but I really wanted Amoongus just to die out. So Rocky Helmet's going to take damage. Recoil is going to take damage. Is he not taking any recoil? No, there's a the recoil. I was going to say. We need to the wisp to land, and it does. That's that's huge. I couldn't have asked for anything more. So now we're sitting here. Um, I think I can start maybe like combine boosting if I wanted to. The burn's going to be huge. Precipice Blades landing again, which is kind of annoying. And how much damage is doing? We're soaking pretty well. 
So now this thing's burned up. It's chipped up a little bit. Um, I can now go into Trapagos. I could also hard swap Mimikyu into Incineroar, which would probably be our best bet, just to intimidate and set up a calm mind here. But if this thing is low on... If this thing is low on attack, we should be fine here. So it's Rapagos, we have three turns left to trick him. We're going to calm mind boost here. And we're just going to swap into Incineroar. Being able to party shot, intimidate's going to be massive on two big time physical attackers. And we'll go from there. We'll go from there. We will have Mimikyu in the back end as well. Cool. Okay. So we're going to need Trap Ghost to actually pick up a lot of slack here. That's why I'm trying to get this Calm Mind boost, but that burn is just... Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful on the ground, especially with this Intimidate coming out here. And I do have Leftovers. We love Leftovers. We love some Leftovers. We love some Leftovers. So Mimikyu's going to drop back here. We are going to send out our Intimidate user. And I knew this battle was going to be tough for us. I knew it was going to be really tough for us. And we're going to have two turns left in Trick Room after this. We're just hoping Incineroar is not parting shot. He's going to be clear Amulet on the ground on. That's okay. And he's going to go for a Flare Blitz into this slot, which is fine. Which is fine by me. Precipice Blades is scary because it can KO my Incineroar. But I don't know if he's going to use it again. I don't know if he's going to use it again. We get that Calm Mind boost now. The Calm Mind is boosted. We are going to Stellar Star Storm after this. We do have Fake Out ready to go. And hopefully, again, no no Precipice Blades comes out here. And it does. And Incineroar, dodge it. Incineroar, dodge it. You're not dodging. Like, dude, this thing's hitting all day today. And it's gonna, we're, we're still able to soak up, which is huge. It's going to be not very effective onto its Rapagos. And I'm going to be able to eat up a berry. So now from here, we're going to Stellar Terra. And we're going to start using our Trapagos, right? We're going to start getting after it with Trapagos. So it took us a while to set up. I knew this one was going to be tough for us. I don't know if we're going to even win this match. But Trapagos starting to set up. We love it. Got some burn damage on the ground. It is bulky. It's not bested, which is good. But now we're going to go for a Terra Star Storm. And on top of that, we're just going to fake out the ground on, right? I think it's a must just to fake out the ground on. If it protects, it protects. No big deal. I think we just attack it. I can always flare blitz the next turn. It is not a fire type. I always wish it was a fire type. I think it should be a fire type. But it's just a ground type. It's just a ground type, which is pretty cool. Now comes our Terra. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are going to fake out the crowd on. Um, Incineroar should die out here. To this Terra Star Storm. And we're going to transform. Look at this thing. It looks amazing. Looks amazing. They're going to Terrasalize as well. We don't mind that because Terra Star Storm is super effective. And it's going to be into the Groudon slot. So Groudon's going to take super effective damage here into a Ground Terra. We're faking it out. We are faking this Pokemon out, which is pretty massive. Do we have a chance maybe to KO? Let's see. Fake Out's going to pop here. Bop. Nice damage. Parting Shot's going to come out here. Take off for minus one, which is so upsetting. It really is. That is really upsetting. Takes off for minus one or a plus one boost. Now we're even on the field. I would love to have that plus one boost. And they're gonna go in the hill. Who you got cooking? Venusaur, maybe? I mean, Sun is pretty much ending, right? Look how big Ground on is with the ground terror on its head. It's massive. They're gonna go into Fluttermane here. Fluttermane comes out here. We're gonna go for the Terra Star Storm. How much damage is this doing to Ground? On? Let's see almost KO, and that would have been a big time KO, and Groudon's flinching though. So we have one turn left in Trick Room, which is huge, we are getting back some HP, um, we're gonna Terra Star Storm to try to finish off the Groudon, and I think I might just Parting Shot into the Fluttermane, or I could double down into it, to be honest. Terra Star Storm, um, I think I'm just gonna try to double down into it. Yeah, I gotta look to get rid of Fluttermane. Why don't I just look to dump on this thing? I should have went for a throw chop instead, but Pterosaur Storm's fine. Whatever, it's gonna fly here. We're gonna say bye bye to you. Get it on out of here. I should have went for a throw chop. I don't like the recoil damage that we're taking. That's a bad play on my end. But from here, we're gonna be able to Terra Star Storm and finish off Groudon. This is a solid match. This is a great first match for this video. So I'm sitting here, plus one on special offense, which is huge. We get rid of Groudon and Fluttermane. Two very strong Pokemon. That burn from Mimikyu early on was was it made this game for us it put us in in the running here if we didn't land that will west it was game we were losing this one no problem so trick room finally gone i might swap incineroar into mimikyu i don't know how i should really play this but it really depends on their last two so we know they got incineroar and it's gonna be venusaur so venusaur mm, could put us to sleep we don't like that venusaur could put us to sleep that's a little bit of a problem and incineroar comes back out here so they can just fake me out if they want to um i think i'm just gonna protect terapicos because if Fake Out's going to go in anybody, it is going to be Terrapagos. Let's be honest here. 
I'm at full HP, and do I just Flare Blitz, or do I just Parting Shot? I am plus one on Special Defense, uh, I'm just gonna Parting Shot into Incineroar, I think. Damn, I could always Flare Blitz. Yeah, I'm gonna Parting Shot into Incineroar here, so I'm just gonna Protect Trapagos. Hopefully the Fake Out is flying in that slot. I would Fake Out the Trapagos. No, you're faking out the Incineroar. This could be tough, man. What are you going for? You're going for Sludge Bomb. Okay, at least you're attacking Terrapagos here. He's trying to attack Terrapagos rather than put it to sleep, which I don't mind. Um, my special defense is boosted plus one, so that's good. So from here, I'm just going to go Terra Star Storm again. And you know what? Do I just double down into him? No, I'd rather get him off a Parting Shot. And honestly, no, Parting Shot still works on that. I was going to say, Parting Shot doesn't work, but it's just first turn priority moves. Well, not first turn priority moves. Status moves. Prankster moves. Pranks are So that's why I'm just gonna fly into you. You die out to that. No big deal. Um, still got the Mimikyu, which is good. And what are you trying to do? Are you gonna go for a parting shot into me? That could be a little bit of an issue. The Terra Star Storm's gonna fly out here first. Can this KO the Incineroar? I don't think it can. I would love it to. It does not, but we bring both these guys low. You got a berry. Mm, I hate the berry. I hate the berry. So I do have Shadow Sneak with my boy. He's going to end up going for a Flare Blitz, which you should soak rather well. Yeah, cool. That's a decent soak. You're going to take some recoil. Terra Star Storm and I think Shadow Sneak double down in Incineroar is probably our best bet. Yo, what a first match. Go in the distance. Go in the distance. But we now get to bring out Mimikyu, who we saved for a little bit later. We don't really need Trick Room because uh, Terrapagos and Mimikyu can outspeed Incineroar. So from here, I'm going to go for another Terra Star Storm. And I'm just going to double down into this Incineroar going for a Shadow Sneak because... Terra Star Storm should bring it low, but Shadow Sneak should do enough damage, be not very effective, to actually pick up a KO. So that's what I'm hoping. KO here on into onto Incineroar, and then we start getting after this uh this Venusaur. But again, bring it really low. Acid Spray is gonna lower our special defense, making this a little bit of an issue for us. Um, he is gonna take some life or damage, and I'm going for the Terra Star Storm. The four to KO onto Incineroar. This would potentially win us the game if we, if we can just KO Incineroar. We might even double KO. We do double KO. So there it is. Terrapagos thriving out here in match number one. What a solid match from me and my opponent. So we're one and zero. Let's go hop into our second match. Now something I forgot to mention was a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of Jay. Found this team over on Twitter. Huge shout out to you. I don't really have any of your uh, pages. So if you are watching this video and want to leave me your pages let me know in the comment section down below i would love to put them in the description thank you so much for actually making this team but we're going up against a mewtwo squad here in match number two terapagos thriving in match number one they have chiyu they got iron bundle they also have what is that pokemon uh incarnate landorus and then they got Wimscott and Indeedee. So a pretty strong team here. They could just go into, you know, Terrain Control, Expanding Force. That's a little bit of an issue for us. So our Dark-type Pokemon, such as like Incineroar, are going to be good for us, right? Um, I could go Mimikyu. I could go into Frigoraph, who's not bad here. And I kind of just want to go into rather than Mimikyu to set this trick down. I think that's just a good option for us. Frigoraph is just very bulky. It has the safety goggles. Um, it's a Psychic type, so it's going to be able to actually soak up Expanding Forces. That's going to be good for us. I'm going to end up going into Frigograph. Do I end up going into Incineroar or Terrapagos? I do like me some Terrapagos. I do like me some Terrapagos, especially if we can set up a Calm Mind. Oh my lord, I'd love to set up a Calm Mind. I would love to set up a Calm Mind. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to get Terrapagos here. So Terrapagos comes out here. Um, Huh. Terrapagos, Frigograph. Uh, they have a really fast Pokemon. Incineroar is going to be solid, and last but not least, we go Raquanid. I kind of like Raquanid here, so I'm going to go with Raquanid. Oh, we do have Wide Guard with Raquanid. That could be good. That could be real clutch. A Raquanid, yeah, could be so clutch for us. Wide Guard and Expanding Forces, that could be big time for us. That could be big time for Jeans. All right, we'll see what they want to do here. Ex Expanding Force seems like to play. They got the Mewtwo. Mewtwo, we don't want that thing getting after us. It's a big time problem but yo look at that profile picture <laughs> totodile just staring at the picture i love me a little derpy totodile that's so funny but they're gonna end up landing or going into landorus and chiyu okay i don't mind landorus chiyu uh, a little scary not gonna sit here and lie i'm going to terror shift um do i just go into a combine here combine trick room beats ruin terrifying it's terrifying we don't like that we don't like that we do not like that 
We do not like that. I am just going to go into the trick room. And I am just going to go for the combo. Just, that's going to be play. We'll see what he wants to end up doing. He's going to go for an Earth Power. We are going to Terra Shell this, which is gorgeous. going to be not very effective. It's going to still deal some damage. Gee, you're scaring me. Dark Pulse going to fly in this slot. Can you soak? You can soak. That's, that's a big turn for us. That's a big turn for us because now I get this combine boost. Now I get this combine boost and I can also helping hand. I flinch? I flinch! This is terrible. This is terrible. We flinch to a dark. All right, I don't really know what to do here. All right, we're gonna try this out. We're gonna try try something out. So figure out dead. We're gonna hope that they start going for double hitting moves because I would love to just wide guard next turn. But I can bring out Incineroar and I can start faking out. This is this a problem for me? This is a problem. You're going for Snarl. This is a problem for me. This is a problem. For me. Um, what do I do? 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 Gotta go into Incineroar. I gotta fake out and start getting off some damage. We got a stellar terror here. Oh man! This hurts. Um, there is a chance that Chiyu could harass us here. I'd rather fake out the Lando. Let's be honest. I'd rather fake out the Lando. So I am gonna fake out the Lando. I am gonna go for a Terra Star Storm here. I'm gonna send it. A flinch? Really? We were just. Dude, that would have been such a big turn. Would have been such a big turn. Yeah, bailed out. I'm letting you know now, opponent. You got bailed out. Because my Terrapagos was getting after it. My Terrapagos was getting after it. Man, that hurts. That really hurts. So, we're going to Terrasalize our Terrapagos. Terra Terrapagos. I love that name, Terrapagos. <laughs> we're going to Terrasalize him. We're going to fake out this Lando here. We're going to hope that Chiyu actually Terrasalizes himself into, like, Ghost or something. Because then I can do some double damage. He's not choice either. We know that he's... He'll go for Snarls if he wants to. Snarl looking a little scary, but still. I'm plus one. He's going to end up with Jaw and Chi. So, good fake out onto our end. Let's see who they end up popping into. We're going to go into Ndidi. I'm going to stop this fake out. Kind of annoying. Can Earth Power KO us? I don't know. We are plus one on special defense now, which is rather solid for us. And Ndidi's going to pop Psychic Seeds. I see you, Ndidi. I feel you. I understand. Could be going for Earth Power into Incineroar, which could be a little bit of a problem. Um, oh man, not having Trick Room. Just a big mess for us, right? Just a big mess, but solid swap on their end to go into Indeedy here. We had Terrapagos ready to roll. I transform zero. And I, oh, I take, I take away, I take away terrain with that. I did not know that. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I take away terrain. That's actually massive. <laughs> I did not know that. I think it takes away terrain and weather when you terrestrialize. Oh, dude, that's sick. That's so sick. I'm popping Terra Star Storm. We are plus one on special attack. He's plus one on special defense. Gonna do like a little bit before half, right? Yeah, about about one fourth damage. And we get off back some leftovers. Okay, so good news here is we're at full HP. There's no terrain. I could parting shot. I could actually just go for a throat chop. They might swap. But if they swap into Mewtwo, that could be good. But if they're gonna swap into anybody, it's gonna be uh It's gonna be Chiyu, I would feel like. Could go for throat chop. I think I'm just gonna parting shot. I think they swap in Didi. I really do. I really do think they swap in Didi, so now it's gonna be a decent turn for me to go into a rack win and keep throwing Terra Star Storm. Let's swap right into a rack. So we don't have Trick Room. I'm going to bring Incineroar back here for later usages. Obviously, Intimidate's going to be good. But just having that Dark type is going to be even better. Plus, they could be going for an Earth Power here. Which is a little bit of a problem. But DD just goes for Follow Me. That's not a big deal for me. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Sansier Storm's going to fly here. A little bit of a problem. Not very effective onto a rack mid. And Terra Star Storm is going to follow through. So Terra Star Storm flying here. We're looking to make a little bit of comeback here. Um. Getting off some nice damage onto Lando. Some big time damage. And we get back left. Okay. So the real question is, do we go for another Terra Star Storm? 
Or do I just protect to get back HP? Could lunge here as well. Terra Star Storm does KO Landers. Um, I could wide guard in case they want to do that same thing. But Sandseer Storm does have chance of missing. Um, hmm. Solid match. I'm just going to stick with Liquidation here in case the Chi Yu swap wants to come out here. Cool with that. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to rip another Terra Star Storm. Let's do it. Let's do it. While these guys are just sitting here on the field. Could I could rip a wide guard reading a Sandseer Storm. But I don't know if they're going to do that again. I don't know if they're gonna do that again. Follow me, it's gonna pop out here. Maybe I should've ripped the wide guard. Could've been clutch for us. Could've definitely been clutch. Earth power, okay, cool. Good thing I didn't rip the wide guard. Trap goes still soaking decently well, thanks to special defense boost. Terra Star Storm following through. It's gonna KO Lando all day. Does it KO the Ndidi? If not, we're following through with liquidation, which is good. And it does pick up the double KO. So double KO on the board. We're back in this match after the flinch. Come on, man. I want this, I want it, I want it. I want this win so bad, but Terrapco's thriving here. So we have Incineroar to swap into it. They do go into any physical attackers. That's going to be my play. I might just protect Terrapco's this turn just to get some leftovers HP back. Really helping us out. Really helping us out. But if I had to guess, it's going to be me too. Chi, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Hmm. And if I get out Incineroar, we fake out, ready to go. Maybe get off one more Terra Star Storm. That could be nice. It has to be Mewtwo, right? With Indeedee there. Yeah, it's gonna be Mewtwo. Now he's sitting here, no terrain. No Terrapago stopping terrain. That's nice. We're not allowed to eat berries, which is a little bit of a problem for me. I don't like that. I don't like that. Now, the, oh, do I stay in here and just go for liquidation? Yeah, because I think Arachnid would die out here. If anything, so I'm just gonna protect you. I am going to go for Liquidation, try to pick up a KO on the Chiyu, but they could just Terrastalize. And I don't know who they're going to Terrastalize. This is such a good match, man. Such a good match, but it shouldn't be a good match because I had my Trick Room play. Should have been set up. My Terrapico should have just been sweeping out here. My Terrapico should have been hyped. Good old Terrapi. Terrapi the Terrapicos. I love it. I love that little, I love its little uh, Terra type logo on top of its head instead of being like a chandelier for like fire it's just a little terrapicos it's a glass to it's a porygon terrapicos so i'm gonna protect my terrapicos get him out here and we'll see what they want to do we're gonna go for expanded force into the terrapicos we love it we love it and probably a snarl i would think but liquidation good call for me just not to swap oh they're doubling down in the terrapi the big play for us that's a big time play for us now liquidation lands are we KOing? We're KO and that should be game because I don't think Expanded Force and KO. I know Mewtwo has a high special attack stat, but still, I'm plus one on special defense and getting back even more HP. And these matches have just been awesome. They've been awesome so far. So from here, we're just going to go into a lunge now, and we're just going to rip another Terra Star Storm. And I think they they haven't been wanting to Terrastalize because of Terra Star Storm. And that's such a big thing too, is having Terrapicos on the field. With Terra Star Storm being super effective to all Terra types, forces your opponent to not really want to Terrasta Slice. So out comes another Terra Star Storm, going to chunk up some nice damage onto you. Bob, oh, that's a big time damage. Lunge should be able to finish this one off, and we are 2-0, playing Amazing in Regulation G right now. Final match coming at you guys with Terry the Terrapicos. That's his new nickname, Terry the Terrapicos. Love this Pokemon so much. It's a turtle. I'm a fan of the turtles. Cannot hate, but we're going up against Ting Lu team. Ting Lu, a little bit of a threat. They got Rayquaza as well. Double fake out users with Incineroar Rillaboom. Clefable for support. And last but not least, Wellspring Ogre Pond. All right. Yeah, this one's going to be a little tough for us. Mimikyu could be pretty good, but I am scared of Intimidate for the lead. Not going to sit here and lie, but I am going to go Incineroar here. And uh, I'm going to go Mimikyu, but they could. Hmm. No, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Terry here. I'm going to go Terry. Terry the Trapicos. Alongside with Mims. Both of these guys. I like it. I like it. In the back end, we're going Incineroar. And then we are going with our Arachnid. Arachnid did great in the last match. Good call for us not to swap it out. Because I was originally thinking of just swapping into Incineroar. But I was just like, hey, we should just go for Liquidation. Because chances are they might be going after Trapagos. And if it dies, it dies. We just force Incineroar out there next turn to get off Fake Out and then Terra Star Storm. I think it was a win-win for us either way. So, Liquidation, Arachnid coming in clutch. See if we can go 3-0. We are 2-0. This team is, is very slow paced though. 
I'll admit it. I'll admit it. It's not like Shadow Rider Kalax where you're just running into battle, guns a blazing, and getting after it. No, it's not working like that. It's not working like that. So we're going to Terror Shift here. We're going to hope that this thing doesn't have Fisher either. And I am going to go for, obviously, a... I'm obviously going to go for a... What's it called here? I know Special Attack's dropped. I'm obviously going to go for a Calm Mind. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind boost. I am just going to go for Trick Room. Calm Mind, Trick Room, maybe Will-O-Wisp with Tinglu up after this. Could be good for us. Um, you could fake me out with Incineroar. No big deal. But if you don't, then I just get after it with my Mimikyu. Smart play would be to double down to Mimikyu. But Mimikyu might be able to soak these guys. These guys don't hit too, too hard. Right? They don't hit too, too hard. They hit decently hard. I'll give it to them. They're, they're mid-range attacker Pokemons, but they're not, like, big-time attackers. So, I'm looking to get after it with Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu's design, too. I think it's so sick. The Fake Out's gonna fly here. We are gonna Terra Shell it up. It's gonna do negative six damage. Yeah, about... And Trapico's gonna flinch. So no Calm Mind boost for us. Sand Tomb's gonna come out here. Why are you Sand Tombing me? And Mimikyu's dodging. That's cool. We like we like a good dodge. So I end up doing that. Um, we go for another Calm Mind here. Yeah, I think I might try to burn Ting Lu. I'm back up to full HP. I'm gonna go for another Calm Mind boost. I'm gonna burn Ting Lu. Ting Lu. We're gonna look to Willowis just like Grout on in match number one. But that dude, Groudon <laughs> looks so sick. I wish we reversed another one. I gotta showcase a Groudon and Kyogre team. I gotta get my hands on them. Speaking of hands on my teams, if you guys want to send me teams, make sure you send them to me over on Twitter. DM me. I'll try to make sure I look at them. If they're regulation G teams, I would love to get my hands on them to use them up. But um, what else was I gonna say? Um, if you don't have Twitter, feel free to send them to me over or in the comment section down below. There's a less of a chance that I would see it. Then on Twitter, but still, hey, send me your teams. But uh, Willowis is going to end up landing here. We are going to go for a Calm Mind boost. We are going to get some leftovers, and I think I'm just going to protect Terrapagos this next turn. And then swap into, like, a it. I think that's a good play. But I'm getting Calm Mind boosted. They're definitely looking just to get after me at this point. And, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna swap Mimikyu. Because Mimikyu is minus one, let's be honest. Mimikyu is minus one. Getting out of Raccoonade in Trick Room is pretty good for us. And Mimikyu just did his job by getting off Burn and Trick Room, so I like it. So I think we have three turns left in Trick Room, correct? Yeah, three turns left in Trick Room. That's plenty of time for me to protect here. Do a little swappage action into... I could go Incineroar, but I like Raccoonade a little bit better. Incineroar would be great. Intimidate on two physical attackers. But, but, Incineroar thrives without Trick Room. And we want a Raccoonade inside this Trick Room. Super effective on both these guys with Liquidation. They're posing a big threat. They don't want to Terrasize either, No one Terry the Terrapagos is here. I'm just going to protect it. They see it as a threat. They might double back down into it, not going to lie. Oh yeah, there's a Sand Tomb. Blocked. Get it on at my face. What was that in Are you Flare Blitzing in here? Blocked. I knew it all day. So big time double protect. Get out a free swap. We got a rack when they just chilling here. Okay. So Sand Tomb could be annoying. It could be annoying. I think we just try to take out Incineroar here. They might even swap in Cinemore. I mean, Ting Lu's not doing damage. It's not doing damage. I'm going to Terrasalize, and I'm just going to go for Terra Star Storm. The Terra Star Storm alongside with Liquidation. Ting Lu could set up a Sand Tomb. It could be annoying. And I knew they were going to withdraw this. I knew it. I knew it. And who are you going to go into here? Is this Ogre Pond? It is Ogre Pond. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. So at least we get off a Terra Star Storm in that plus one, which is good. They get Spiky Shield next turn. Probably going for another Sandstorm, or not Sandstorm, Sand Tomb, just to get that constant string of damage out. But Terrapagos, doesn't he get HP? I think it gets HP when it, uh, when it terrestrializes or boosts in its max HP. There's the Sand Tomb. Yeah, it does. It goes up like 50, which is awesome. Terrapagos is just full of surprises. It really is. The Terra Stars from coming out here should still chunk up nice damage onto Ogre Pond. I know the abilities out here, but still, I don't mind that damage right there. So I'm going to get some leftovers HP. Sand Tomb going to chip away. And actually, do we not get Sand Tombed? Actually, Sand Tomb might come out after the burn. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Chipping up a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Um, hmm. That would be a time to go for another Stellar Star Storm or whatever it's called. They want Liquidation into, into Ting Lu. 
What do I hard swap maybe back in the Mimikyu here? Because I still have Disguise here. Because I think you're going to spike your shield if anything. And then I can go into Disguise. That's not a bad play for us. And then I can maybe get off another Trick Room. Yeah, that's going to be my play. So I'm going to swap a rock, swap a rack when it here. And hope that they're not touching this Mimikyu slot, right? I'd love to have this guy's ready to go. Follow me comes out. That's fine. Follow me. Coming out here. That's a fine turn. And Heavy Slam going to fly. That's fine. Because now I still have this guy's. I can get off Trick Room. No problem. Terra Star Storm. Flying again. Keep sending them to Rapagos. We got to get rid of this. This Ting Lu on the field. The Terra Star Storm doing its work. Doing its lovely little work. Get back a little bit left over his HP. And we're just going to send it again. We're just going to send uh, Terra Star Storm again. They might double down into Mimikyu. Just keep sending them. We'll send another one. And we'll go for another Trick Room. That's my play all day. That's my play all day. That's why I want to swap into Mimikyu. So Terra Star Storm. Pop it again. Go for Trick Room. If Mimikyu dies, Mimikyu dies. We didn't get out in Sin War. But um, I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Again, slow paced team with Terrapagos today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Solid battles. Solid battles so far. But, yeah, they're probably going to double down into Mimikyu. And they don't. So I get off another trick room. No problem. No problem. They might go for Ivy Cudgel in this Terrapagos. But they're going to intimidate me here with Mimikyu. No big deal. Can I get off another turn with Terrapagos? Just one more turn. Let me get off one more turn with Terrapagos. Ivy Cudgel going to fire. Can you soak this? You don't. You get a crit, too. Come on, man. Come on. I just wanted one more turn with, with, with my Terrapagos. So now they're free to just, like, go into their moves right now they're free to just go into or not their moves they're, they're terror type but i get off trick room which is huge i can go into arachnid and i can swap miku for incineroar just to intimidate both their physical attackers cool then they might just go for follow me just to dodge liquidation so i'm just gonna go for lunge here to finish you off and then swap for intimidate all right so mimikyu arachnid are gonna have to clutch up here in match number three terapago is gone he's a gone but at what cost? They let me set up another trick room, which is big. They go into Incineroar, intimidate you, and I'll intimidate you. So big time intimidate, we get a lot of value out of that. Um, follow me, he's gonna come out here. That's no big deal. We're not going for liquidation. We knew you were doing something like that. We seen that coming. None just coming out here. We can say bye bye to you, and I can just liquidation Incineroar next turn. That's solid. See you later. See you later, Ogrepan. Knockoff's gonna fly. You're gonna take off my Citrus Berry. Okay, I really wanted my Citrus Berry though. But, maybe I'll just knock off your Citrus Berry if you want to play games. Or I think a Rackman could potentially just KO you in one shot. The Ting Lu comes back out here. It's just a special attack drop here, but no big deal. I can fake out if I want to. I can definitely fake out. And you know what? I'm just going to go Liquidation. And I'm, I'm just going to Flare Blitz you. Take out Ting Lu. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Burn Ting Lu. Mimikyu playing good with the burns today. But I love this team. This team's so slow paced. It's just slowing everything down. Play it slow. Set up your Terrapagos. Get Trick Room out. Get your Intimidates off. And then go. Just start pestering around. And that's how this team's played. And it's working really well. Stomp and Camp's going to come out here. We're totally fine with that. The burn helping us out tremendously. Flare Blitz going to finish you off. But now we're in a perfect position to win this game. It is now a 3D1 kind of situation. Arachnid should be able to finish that off whoever they have last. And if not, Incineroar's got it. And if not, Mimikyu's got it. We're thriving here. Another 3-0 record on the casual ladder. Come on, man. That's too easy. And it's Rayquaza. I totally forgot about this Pokemon. I totally forgot about this Pokemon. And the green looks immaculate in this game. Looks so good. Actually, this works really good. Not going to sit here and lie. I mean, again, I do have Mimikyu, which is good. But I'm just going to go for a Throat Chop here. And he's just going to protect. So he's wasting out some Trick Room turns. Okay, I see. You do a Parting Shot. I think I might Parting Shot. This is scary. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie. E-speed's a problem. E-speed's a problem. E-speed's a problem. I'm going to parting shot into it. I'm going to play this one safe. I don't want to lose this match. So liquidation. Parting shot. And yeah, I, I'm just going to play this one safe. I'm going to play this one safe because I want that 3-0 perfect record. We, I think we have 3-0 perfect records in all of our casual battles so far. We've just been on a tear. They're going to finally use this terror type. So he's probably e-speeding. I would think you go after Incineroar. I would hope you go after Arachnid. You're going Steel. This actually helps out Arachnid. Making Liquidation neutral. I can get down with that. And you going into Steel probably makes me think you're going after uh, Incineroar. But yeah, Liquidation doing plenty of damage now. Parting shot. 
working perfectly, and that's gonna be game. I'm surprised you didn't just E speed, I would, unless you don't have E speed. But I thought that was gonna be normal terror type E speed into one of our Pokemon. Now we're sitting here perfectly. Go into a disguise Mimikyu. We have Incineroar ready to intimidate again. It's just too easy, man. It's just too easy. Dragon Pulse coming out here. That's a perfect swap, too. It doesn't affect Mimikyu. Nice little fairy type. That was so perfect. But from here, we can go for Liquidation. We can drop a Shadow Sneak. I don't think Shadow Sneak can KO, but I think they just cancel, right? No. Shadow Sneak flying for the KO. Does not get it. Does not get it. Thunderbolt gonna fly to you. You should soak that. You soak that. Beautiful. Love it. Rayquaza gonna lose a little bit of HP. And Liquidation gonna finish it off. There it is. Not one, not two, but three matches. All three wins. We grab ourselves another 3-0 perfect record. I got you guys. I got you guys. My subscribers, my viewers, everybody who likes the videos, I got you guys. Thank you guys so much for popping out here. Watching today's video, we showcased Terrapagos and absolutely destroyed with it. Like I said, slower paced team, trying to set up Trick Room, trying to set up that Calm Mind, but after that, Terrapagos can really thrive out there with Terra Star Storm, doing a big stream of causes damage, and on top of that, being an absolute bulk and a problem to get off the field. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.